Hey there crafty friends. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing of my design team package for julietks4u.net and that is a website where Julie has all kinds of laces and appliques and bling pieces and flowers and beads and just all the things that we love to work with and she has invited me to be a guest DT for her through the month of August. So I received my July DT package and I would love to share it with you. So I was after a lot of appliques. Um, she lets us pick what we like to, to work with, so that is a nice perk. So I have some projects I wanted to do with appliques, so this will have Probably more appliques than lace this time. But these were lovely. It's um, sort of a Battenberg style. They're not um, cotton, they're kind of um, silky, like they have a silky feel. But I think they'll be lovely to work with on the cover of a journal or um, a, maybe a pillow project, something like that. That one, it's kind of. Um, butterfly-esque, isn't it? Kind of pretty. I think that will look very nice on some projects. So that was one set of appliques. And then I did a little couple of them that were outside of my um, comfort zone of what I like to work with, but I'm trying to challenge myself to branch out from pink. <laughs> so I did get some different colors. I was after some dangle lace for a couple projects. I want to do some altered um, jackets and, and different things like that. Some apparel pieces um, for my daughter's store and I thought the dangle lace would look really pretty. If I can get it unwound here I'll just do a little stretch. But isn't that pretty? I think that would look really, really fun across the back of a jacket um, or on some cuffs on a sleeve. So that was pretty, kind of a, it's kind of a dusty gray. So that color I'm definitely not used to. Then here's a little bling applique that would go nicely with that dangle trim. How pretty would that be together? So that's got a lot of sparkle. It's all bugle bead and rhinestone. That's totally beaded. So that's a pretty one. We'll leave that over there so it will sparkle. And then let's see here. What have we got? Oops, I just dropped one. Here is a big, uh, big, big trim piece, if I can get my words out. And that is really pretty too. That could be cut into appliques definitely and used in many different ways. I like that color as well, kind of a vintagey feel. So that was a lovely piece. That is really a big one too. And let's see, let me grab this one I dropped. Oh. This has a little lavender tint to me. Um, I wanna do a project in honor of my grandmother, a little journal, and her favorite color was lavender. And this has just the, a little hint of lavender tint to it. I thought that was very pretty. That will make um, some nice pockets in a journal or a nice belly band. It's got some heft to it and nice width. Look pretty on the cover of a book. So that is that. Julie, when she does her um, live sales, which she does periodically on um, here on YouTube, she will do two yards of lace for like a dollar fifty. Um, I think trims like this um, might be just a little bit more, but the prices are pretty reasonable, actually. 
So that's a pretty one that also can be cut into appliques and used um, in different ways. This would be great for layering, doing some collaging. So I like that color, that's a good one. And let's see, more appliques. I will link all of her information below, her YouTube, her website, and um, her Facebook page. She will advertise on her Facebook page when the sales are. So that's a pretty one. I love that shimmery pink, and this can be cut into sections and used in different ways. So I got four of those, and I think these were like $1.25 a piece. So very, very workable prices. Here's a larger, or no, this one is the same in, I think this is, no, it's similar. This one's similar to the pink one we just saw. It's a little smaller and it's got the sequins in it. So that one is pretty. And there again, $1.25 a piece. And those were four of those I got. Those will be good for cutting up and collaging. Everything comes individually wrapped, so it's all very neat and organized. There's a smaller one. This can be cut into little sections as well. So two of those. And then... Beautiful applique. It's got the embroidery around it, the embroidered look with some dimension to it. I think that is so pretty. So I am not sure when her next live sale, sale will be. I know her moderator is having some health struggles, as is her husband, and I just want to wish her and her husband well. So sending out prayers and and best wishes for Donna and her husband. Um, so this one has some sequins. Very beautiful. I think I got six of those. Three, four, yep. So I had big plans for that, I guess, because I got so many. And then here's kind of a mauvey pink. This is a little darker pink than I usually work with, but I thought on some fabric projects that might be pretty. I've been doing a deep dive on Pinterest on altered denim, like jeans and jackets and things, and I have some ideas, so. That's what a lot of these appliques were purchased in mind for. Now this is a color I'm really not um, accustomed to working with, but I thought these were really pretty in the kind of a peach colored sequin. So I thought I would try to branch out and and use a little of that color. I think that's a popular um, spring and summer color. And then these, these were from a wedding dress that um, she got and cut up. Well, I don't know if she cut them up or she got them this way, but they came from a, a wedding dress. Boy, that one's really packaged up. Oh, I should have opened that beforehand had I known. See if we can get into it here. But these had a very vintagey look and feel to me, so okay, we're just tearing into it. That was too much unwrapping there. So back to this. These had a vintagey feel to me. 
very pretty. I love the color, and these would be great for coffee dyeing or tea dyeing. And these again can be cut up and collaged with. So different shapes and sizes of those. Here's a long one. Oops, backwards. So very pretty, I love these. And a little one, that's sweet. So that is that, and then we're down to just the couple laces I got this time. So this was unusual for me not to go crazy on the lace. I thought that one was very delicate and pretty. That would look pretty with these appliques, wouldn't it? Do a little collaging with that. That would be so pretty together. So again, two yards for $1.50. So the price is very reasonable. And then a little narrow lace. These little narrow ones I like to use on tags and as page edges and journals. This one's very delicate. I think that's really pretty. And then the last lace. Is this one. And I love these kinds of laces because again, you can cut little sections out and use, use as a focal point or use in collaging, or you can use the whole, whole piece to do some edging. This one had some um, substance to it as well. So I thought that might be good for some apparel fabric projects as well. And I love the white because it can be coffee dyed, tea dyed, avocado dyed. I just was um, fortunate to get some fresh produce this past Sunday and I have a batch of beets that I'm about to do some preserving for and canning and I'm going to use the beet water to do some dyeing. So this will be a good candidate to use on that. It comes out such a pretty pink. So that is all of the lace and appliques and then she had um, some cigar boxes some vintage cigar boxes and i love using these to alter this one was a really nice size you don't usually see them this long so you can oops came apart that really is vintage. I'll have to put some hinges on that, but that's very doable. But I love the wood ones. They... Oh, <laughs> Luca, that was mom. My big boy thought somebody was knocking at the door. I should have known better. So um, anyway, back to this. The wood is very nice, and I love the size of this, the length. You can get a lot of goodies in there. And I'll give you an idea what I do with those on my table set up here. This is um, from Julie's last sale a cigar box that I altered. And I showed this on my last, this was my last DT project for her. And I put all my bling in there that I got from her. And, um, so that's one way. And then this is another one that I got elsewhere, but just to give you an idea of how it can be altered and collaged. I used appliques. I used a digital from um, Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I used her digitals. And then I did some book page over there and um, then did this, the inside with some collaging and things. And these wooden boxes are so wonderful for doing that with. I really, really love the wood, wood boxes. There's so much you can do with it. Use it for storage. Um, I plan on using one. I have my grandfather's Bible from like 1912 and um, some little prayer cards and things. And I plan on doing a box to 
store all of that in and put that on display on my credenza. And then lastly, I'm just gonna dump this out. I got a flower bundle from her and look at all of the flowers, just all different kinds different sizes, pearl detail. This will be so fun to use on the altered boxes as well. Look at this one, that's really sweet. This would be pretty to do um, a wedding journal and use some of the flowers on the cover. That's really pretty, little picks you can take apart, all the little stems and use in different ways. So just all kinds of goodies. And I think she sells these bundles. I think this was $15 for the whole lot of it. There again, you can take them off individually and use them. So just all sorts of them. I love these ones with the pearls. Little picks. Here's little longer stems that can be taken apart. You can unravel this um, wrapping here and use these little individually, or you can use them all as a bunch. So just all kinds of goodies here. That's a sweet little bundle. And then the silk flowers. You can cut this um, plastic off the back and hot glue it so it doesn't come apart, and then you could use it like how lovely would that be in the center of a doily? Make a pretty centerpiece. And then the little satin flowers, those are so pretty. Another little bundle. So that's so lovely. And then here's a bag of the um, fabric ones. Luca always has to make an appearance in my videos. There is not a time of the day where I can do a video without him chiming in. So there is that. Let's see, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a dozen of those. And these I would probably cut off the stems and just use that part and do some embellishing. You could put these on a pillow on a, one of the altered boxes. Um, there's all kinds of things to be done with those. So that is my DT box for July. And if you stay tuned to my channel, you'll be seeing what I, I do with some of these items. And um, just don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell to be notified of new videos upcoming. I thank you all for watching. I thank all my new subscribers. I got a few more this week, so I really appreciate that. And I just love reading all your comments, and um, it just is so fun to, to hear responses to the videos and to hear what you all like to do with your laces and your pretty embellishments and things. Let me know what you would do with these flowers in a project. I have lots of ideas, but I'd love to hear what you would do. And I just want to say um, a heartfelt thank you to all who watch and comment. So I hope you have a good rest of your week or weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, y'all.